this design um, is because in the past I used the traditional, um, I don't know, different designs, chipboard, whatever, for my December daily, um, usually with binder rings and um, just through the years, the handling and touching and I, it just, I thought maybe this time I would go with a more traditional shape binder. Um, also because a lot of times I just, uh, take a lot of, um, six, four by six photos and I would really just like to mount them in a page protector and <laughs> be done with it. So these are my foundation pages. I used a lot of paper from my stash, but I did find a few things. Um, this is an old um, Tim Holtz. These are these little Christmas cling stamps that he came out with, and I thought that was cute. I chose to go with a lot of blues and that cranberry red. I did a lot of embossing. This is white embossing ink. I love, 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 love that technique. Um, this is a Hambly lattice, and I think there's one similar in one of the daily, December daily foundation pages. So I thought I'd try that, but they're kind of expensive, so I use mine sparingly. This is a tag made, and what I tried to do this year is use some uh, neutral tones to your backgrounds because a lot of times you're not going to be able to, you know, stage what your background is going to be when you're taking photos with family and you just are going to have a lot of different events that you're going to. So I've noticed in terms of design, a nice neutral background really helps. Now this is a stamp and what I did with this stamp is I used pan pastels um, which are these and what you do is you stamp you take your stamp this is the stamp that I used here and you stamp it in Versamark ink and I stamped it on pattern paper and then there's a little sponge that comes with it and you rub the sponge onto the pan pastel and as you rub it the image pops up and I just thought that was a little different these are those prima bling love those things so that's a little tag in there this is an embossed reindeer um, I love that design that's a hero arts and then just some baker's twine that's one of the um, Allie Edwards Today stamp. And then that scallop. I think it's April apron. Love that one. This is um, just a doily. And then I just glimmer missed it and added a tag. And this is some basic gray background. And again with blue. Just a border punch. And a Hambly Transparency. This one has um, snowflakes. This is a tag that I made up. And that's just for the dimensional aspect. This is some old basic gray. And this is making memories, I think. This one uh, is a temp with more layers. So I use green and the blue. This is actually a dictionary page. And... Uh, just a punch that I use and then I just ink the edges and this is a tag that I actually made a while ago and I just got around to using it and I drew in these um, journaling lines with I think the crafters workshop and so this page kind of comes together because you're using both the same sheet as borders this paper is Tim Holtz, and this is not even a Christmas line, but I love that comes from his paper stack, and that, that blue and gray. And I just like the flourishes. And this tag, these are not adhered, not yet, 
But this tag I just made. This is actually, gosh, I don't know who that is. I'll have to look it up. And then I just used a uh, leather heart embellishment and then some little trim at the bottom. I thought it matched there. This page, as you see, you don't see a lot of numbers because I haven't totally committed to where pages are going to go. But I tried to keep the color similar so it wouldn't be too distracting. And this is actually one of the um, Celebrate uh, paper bags. And then I put some powder paper trim on the side and then I used this little punch and then I punched a hole in it and used one of those tiny little Tim Holtz um, paper clips and then one of those I think that come for it, comes from My Little Bicycle so I like that one and then I stamped on the back and put uh, a um, chipboard piece on there so you can add a tag. And then this is a piece of pattern paper. And I cut everything down. This is six by six side. And then I added in some Hambly transparency. This is um this actually comes from the Seasons Greeting Six by Six Echo Park paper pad. Love this paper pad. And I cut out a small um, envelope with my um, silhouette, and I adhered that. And then a little journaling. That's my road. And these are actually tiny little snowflakes. And this is some more craft paper and making memory um, some red dots. And this little scallop circle, which is so cute. Actually, it was just a plain circle, and I used uh, a scallop punch. And that was Teresa Collins. And then this is a tag that I used. And this is actually a Martha Stewart stamp. And the dots are separate from the color on the inside. And then I used two little flourishes. These flourishes. I love the stamp. This is Hero Arts. So sometimes I use the whole thing, sometimes I use just this side, and then other times I'll turn it over and use the opposite side. Love that stamp. This is a transparency from My Little Bicycle. And some more craft paper. And then this is a very easy design when you just take a strip of craft paper and add it to the bottom, and then you keep the same color for your base paper and you can do a lot in terms of adding elements to that or your photo and then I also bought some more got that so I'm excited it's my foundation page and I picked up this um, I don't know which one this is mini chicken wire oh I'm so excited about this one my local scrapbook store had that Today, and they had this one, the Bal Balzar design, so I'm really excited about that.